Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate the complete process to create a Quarkus project with the web interface code.quarkus.io. Let's start. First of all, let's open the terminal and check if Java is installed inside the machine. I will also to check the Java C minus minus version. Okay, I have the version 11 of Java installed in my local machine. Good. Now let's open the browser and go inside code.quarkus.io. It's a very simple uh, web page where you can do a lot of things. First of all, you can see that the Quarkus version is 1.10.3 final. On the left side, here you can put the group, the artifact ID of your project, and you can choose the build tool, Maven or Gradle. Then you can move to the right side of the page and you can, you can select all the dependencies that you want for this uh, uh, to put in your project. You can also search other dependency just typing inside this search bar, like for example Hibernate. Here you will see that there are all the dependencies related to Hibernate that you can add inside your project. So let's start. Let me put uh, as group org.js as artifact ID, I will call it like Quarkus Web Interface Build Tool. I will leave it Maven. I will leave the version 1.0.0 snapshot. And of course, example code yes. Then I'm going just to select as a dependency Rest Easy JaxRS. Good. Now let's click on Generate your application, download as a zip file. Let me save it. Good. And in this window here, you can see the command to compile and run Quarkus in the development pod. So I unzipped the folder and I'm inside the folder Quarkus web interface. And inside this folder, I have only one class, uh, Gratin Resources. So inside org, JS, of course, Gratin Resources Java. It's a very uh, simple uh, REST endpoint that uh, with one method hello that print hello REST easy. So let's compile and run in development mode. So let's type mvn compile quarkus dev. Let's wait that uh, all the files are completely downloaded. Very good. So the server now is up and running and listening on the on localhost on the port 8080. So uh, as you can see here, these are all the dependencies uh, inside my project. By default, uh, we have a CDI for the dependency injection and rest easy the dependencies that we add inside the web interface so let's try it let's go inside localhost 8080 slash hello rest easy inside localhost 8080 slash hello minus rest easy very good we can see here hello rest easy it's working now if I go inside Logalost 8080, we will see a simple web page. It's like a simple documentation where you can find the endpoint and other um, information, like for example, how to compile the project in the development mode with Quarkus. Very good. Now let's try to package our project. So let me stop the server. Very good. And now let's do this. So mvn clean package. Very good. Now inside my project, I have another folder called target. And inside this folder, I have the runner jar file that uh, we can use this file to run our application. So let's try. 
Java minus jar Quarkus web, oops, web interface runner.jar. Good. So again, the server is up and running and listening on the port 8080. And here still we have all the dependencies, the extension is stored CDI and REST easy. Let's, let's try. So let's go inside localhost 8080 slash hello REST easy. Good, still working. Very good. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like the video. Subscribe to this channel if you want. And see you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye.